This is a hybrid. This is a cross, uh, a bluegrass, Kentucky bluegrass, uh, featherbed bench, and uh, Northern California sensimia. The amazing stuff about this is that you can play 36 holes on it in the afternoon, take it home, and just get stoned to the bejesus belt. There's so much happening. What do you choose? These are the times when you find out if you can choose and what it's going to take.
the choices you make here now, they open you up for the future. The choices you made years ago, they opened you up for the now. <clears throat> and a lot of times you can't know outcomes because everything you think you know has been based off of what has been So it limits your potential, your expression. So Pisces to Taurus, Libra, Libra is the transformative outcomes of Pisces. And Taurus are the transformative outcomes of Libra. That's a sextile between Taurus and Pisces. Ceres is at five degrees Libra right now. Ceres are gifts. The meteor, um, I don't know what she's classified as, astronomical. <clears throat> she's the harvest she's what you give in return so that's a loop right there that's a cycle close to the Libra point Currently opposing Venus and Jupiter in Aries right now. So the polarity of Aries and Venus series So it's kind of a karmic thing. What's the bounty of your value, your love, your joy? Were you able to cultivate that? Find that within yourself instead of in the world? If not, then there's a choice in Libra to figure out what's worth what. What do you do about that? <clears throat> Libra is a yang air sign. Striking the balance type of thing. With all this Taurus energy, it comes down to values. How do you value? What do you value? How is that changing? What are you being impelled to release so that the world can fill in the void with potential? 
country. Unbound to the world we once knew. This is Saturn heading into Pisces, bringing to form what you um, are feeling now. So trying to get out of the narratives of the world into the narrative of your expression, it's um, it's a natural thing to pursue right now. <clears throat> the world is changing. There isn't a whole lot to um, hold on to out there that's worth anything. So you gotta make something. And in the pursuit of making something, you make um, micro to macro within without all that stuff. Will be a heavy mercurial mercurian influence when mercury goes into aries here mars i think at 18 gemini that is a mercurial area of the degrees in gemini So following your passion, what do you feel? That's where it all lies for you. And you do it in a way in which every day you're just doing a layer something enough structure to move and be flexible yet sturdy when the winds blow So doing what benefits you today and tomorrow becomes kind of a key thing. Philosophy is important for that. Choosing what to feel through what you do, who you're with, what you're doing, what you're consuming, what you're controlling what you release and all that. <clears throat> Jupiter and Venus will be uh, going over Chiron soon. There will be a full moon in Virgo soon. 
we're in the waxing phase of the moon right now. What are you growing? Is it yours or someone else's? Something else's. You can bring heaven to earth through yourself right now. If we all tried to do that, then we'd all be living a little bit more um, in our power, in our authenticity. That would influence other people to stand in their power, their authenticity, face their own projections, their own shadows, so they don't have to feed into loops, into narrative. Be part of the change that the world wants us to be. For change's sake, for nature's sake, for the authentic flow of life. Tower of Babel falls all the time. You don't want to build into that system. In nature, things grow to certain heights, some much larger than others. We can rationalize and break it down into statistics, or we can actually feel into what that means. Every seed, every nut that stood its ground, it grew to its maximum potential. Now, I don't know how much free will or autonomy the tree has in um, maximizing its potential, but I don't know if it cares. <laughs> But we have that option, that potential. <laughs> 